guys what's going on and in today's video we're gonna be making a spitfire a little bit more yellow yeah so you know how I spoke about in the last couple of episodes that I was gonna be painting possibly going back to being yellow or continuing the uh, blue idea well in this video we're gonna be painting it back yellow or a little bit more yellow depending on what the weather's like because I can't paint in horrible weather so I'm gonna be prepping the car and all that and getting all ready so yeah that, that that's, that's happening that's gonna be fun eh because, uh, you know, I just wanted to paint the car like a million times before I finally decide on what I'm going to do with it. But seriously guys, the weather outside is looking okay to do primer in. And I haven't really got anything else planned to do. So I thought before the car meet tomorrow I will quickly shoot a video and get this pit fire looking a little bit better than what it is. At the minute it's uh, grey, blue, yellow, what do they call them, harlequins? Uh, so, I'm not, that, that harlequin isn't really my sort of style. So I'm going to change that around a little bit and hopefully get it get it sorted a little bit so we're just two different colors that'd be a little bit better wouldn't it all right so the first thing i'm going to do is sort out this ugly mug and uh, i'll be back in touch with you probably on my way outside okay so absolutely no difference there right let's uh let's get outside now shall we all right guys so next uh next step to this is to go get a buddy who's gonna keep you company and probably not gonna do anything <laughs> it's <I'm> this one. <laughs> right guys, so the first thing you need to do now, once you have your friend and you have done your bad hair, you need to jack up the car to get the bumper off to do the spraying and the sanding thing. Just knows what we're on about. So once you've got the car up in the air, you're going to want to take your back bumper off and your wheels off just so you can get to the whole panel. And obviously your friend is just going to stand around and do nothing. He's just going to, you know, stand around and do nothing. So, you know, he's being a great help right now, eating some nuggets that I didn't finish last night. So yeah, basically, uh, next job, we're kind of going to want to clean all this shit off. So we have to clean it, give it a little wash. We're going to clean the wheel well, because that's going to be the first place we do. It's going to go all back yellow, so we've got to primer it, go yellow, do that. Then we're going to do this, prime all this. Hopefully we'll have enough paint. Probably not, but you know, it is what it is. He's still eating. Okay, right. Yeah, let's get on with it. Let's, uh, let's sand down in here and start clean in here and then sand down let's do it all right guys so now that you've uh, done all the cleaning and that you're going to want to get your friend to try and do some work and stop eating the nuggets and uh we're just going to rough up all of it inside the wheel well so that we can get ready to paint it we're going to primer it first probably do one layer or two maybe and then we're going to do paint all right guys so we've just gone over this in 180 and uh, the inside of that's done now. Uh, obviously 180 is not what you're going to want to spray on, so we're probably going to go like, what's 400 or something like that. And we're going to just roughen it up, keep it nice. Just smoothing down the uh, little indents of this, the paper to put in it. Make it all nice, ready for prepping. And then once we've done that, we're going to prep the paint. And then we're going to go ahead and just, just, yeah, once we've finished painting it, we're going to slap some yellow on it. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's uh, let's get on with it. All right, guys. Now that you've uh, sanded it all down, it's all done. You're gonna want to get a nice clean towel. You know, something clean, not like me. Do you want to get some get something really clean and some panel wipe and wipe it down so you can get all the contaminants off. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yeah, I know it's not clean. Just use a clean bit. And then you're gonna wipe all the little dust off and all the contaminants. Uh, the paint should still stick okay to it. Obviously for the bodywork here I'm going to use some, I'm actually going to use clean stuff. But for in here it's not going to be seen so any like little dodgy bits aren't going to be worried about too much. So yeah just give it a nice wipe down, clean it up and then once it's all got the dust off you should be sorted. Anyways right we've decided that it'll be easier just to take all of this like top layer off, prep this uh, whole panel and uh, paint it all in one go. So keep the bottom stuff on, obviously get it all done and sorted, and then we're gonna just primer the entire lot and then paint the entire lot all in one go. Should all sort out a lot better than what we were planning because we've got to wait quite a while for paint to dry. 
which is a bit of a bit of a bummer to be honest. So yeah, let's just start ripping all this uh, paper off and sand down and get it all sorted. So we're going to use this electrical sander. We're going to use P80 to get rid of as much of the crap that we put on here before we're going to get it all sanded down. We're going to do all the rust that has occurred from the last time we've done this. It's been a while, so there's going to be a little bit of rust. We're going to get rid of all that. We're going to primer it and hopefully paint it and that'll stop the rust. Obviously there's been rust because there's been places where we haven't painted because there's plastics and we didn't do it. Yeah, him. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get it all sorted, do that now. I'll put it on time, that's we'll just be back in a bit. Alright guys, so uh, just done some mad stuff. Uh, we've got it all sanded down, we've got to do another layer of sanding. We're going to do the P400 after this. Uh, I've just done some little bit of filly there because there was a little bit of, there's a cr tiny crack. I mean this is all still good. It's all good. Uh, this is just a little bit they just need to do and that's it. I mean there might be a few little bits around here that need uh, sanding down a little bit more but other than that we're good. So we're just going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to go over it again and then we're going to paint it. You guys we're just papering it up for the last time. We've got everything sorted. Everything's all nice and smooth. It's ready to go. It's ready to paint. It's all clean. So hopefully this will be the last time we have to do this panel. I've got a feeling that once we spray it we're going to be able to see all the little grooves and pieces and pieces that need to be sorted but other than that we should be near enough set. We've gone, got quite a lot of the stuff out. It's getting, starting to lose a little bit of light now, so we're hoping to get this wrapped up soonish. Maybe get paint on, we don't know yet. Uh, right, so let's do it. Alright guys, so we're all papered up now. We're all sorted and we're about to start spraying now. Let's do it. There you go guys, we've got it all uh, nicely painted. All sorted, there's a few little nicks that we haven't done. Like properly, there's like a little one there. I don't know if you can see it, look, it's all scratched. Shows up way better on camera. Obviously, I've got to take all this off again. There's no point in me doing the uh, paint yeah, look, today. You can see yeah, you can see him in there. But yeah, it's it's come out really nice. It looks really good from a distance. To be honest, I just wanted to get rid of that horrible blue. You know, the car's not going blue anymore, so there's absolutely no reason for that panel to be blue. So we've got rid of all the blue, all that money I spent on paint. Wasted. Sell it. <laughs> I could sell the paint actually. Uh, now we'd we possibly be doing the boot. We need to do this corner especially because we're starting to get rust come through. Other than that, I think we'll be done for the day. We might do down here as well on this corner. But that means we've got to turn the car around, which is a bit of work. So yeah, let's get cracking. <laughs> Let's go. 